Alrighty, so a lot is obviously going on at Canada's Wonderland. It feels like every day there's a lot going on between Moosehorn Falls and um, projects, whatever, next year. Um, there's a lot going on. So over at Moosehorn Falls, they are working on the landscaping here. I'm so sorry for filming you, um, but you're in the way of a project. Uh, so this is Moosehorn Falls. Um, as you can see, the uh, shoot going up the uh, elevator lift has its little things to carry the tubes up they're working on the landscaping part of the ride the plumbing is still not done on the ride they are just working on aesthetics while also working on the plumbing but it's a lot of work um, still left to do for the plumbing this is that new bar built by timber kits i didn't know it was going to end up being a uh, walk up and sit down bar. This is absolutely stunning. I'd love to see one of these inside the park. I think it's beautiful. Add some fans on the inside of the park one um, and have like a sit down bar area. This is absolutely amazing. Um, over here behind Splashworks, behind the black hole, there is land clearing going on. So they are working on tree removal, digging up the roots, leveling the land. Um, whether that is for a future future uh, water park expansion, or if it is just for um, extended storage. Again, Wonderland is in need of storage space. So it very well could be as simple as storage. Um, but not too much else going on in Splashworks. Again, as you see here, it's just Halloween haunt storage, nothing exciting. Um, I'm trying to think if there was anything else to report on the bar, Moosehorn, storage. Nope, we're all done in Splashworks. Um, they work really early in the mornings on um, our 2025 coaster. So as you can see here, this is the cement truck um, that comes in uh, to do the cement. Um, they've moved around the fencing. There's a lot of survey markings in Elpen now, a lot. So here they are removing the old footings for the exit of Thunder Run. Um, and then they're going to dig a footing exactly where that was. Um, so that was pretty cool to watch. These, This team is such a small team, and they are moving so quickly. Um, I'm going to be able to explain the footing design here. So the reason they're digging those footings with a hydro vac is, if you remember from earlier day footage, if I can find it, I'm going to insert it. They laid down some serious electrical for that booster launch. Um, I'm, I'm going to put it in, hopefully. And it goes right there. So if, as you see those seven-foot warnings from that ele those electrical cables. So that's why they're doing the hydrovac. A lot safer. Won't cut the wire even if they get close to it. Whereas this drill, if it got near them, it would cause a whole problem. Um, so that was really cool. Two separate companies in there digging the footings or the caissons for the new ride. Um, but over here... Um, they're working on some weird kind of like underground like work right here. I don't know if it's electrical or not. I'll be able to tell tomorrow when I'm in the park or today. Sorry. Um, but yeah, there's definitely a lot of work going on there. So definitely going to pay attention to that um, as that is where the launch starts. And there's a lot of electrical there, too. Um, so pretty excited for that. Uh, I'm trying to think if there was anything else to note here. The land is level um, in this area. I thought they would have started station work right away, but we'll have to pay attention um, as maybe they are. Um, but it's interesting because they're laying the bricks down as if they're going to be forced to open this area up. Um, as you see, they're working on the brick area all the way up to these footings. So... There's definitely going to be some redirection, some serious redirection of guest flow as they work on this ride. So that's very interesting. Now, the footing design here, if you pay attention, it's three and they're very close together. So this ride is going to come in on an angle. So it's going to enter tunnel three, that tunnel right there on a very sharp angle curved. And that is going to possibly bring the coaster into the right side of the mountain and then it's going to do some sort of turn and then possibly hit the booster launch up and out of the mountain. Now, in Extreme Sky Flyer's plot of land, um, there is no signs of work anymore. The water excavation has occurred and well under um, completion. And that's all I have today for an update. Um, again, I'm so sorry. The, the, 
<laughs> these concrete workers definitely were not fans <laughs> of me filming them. Um, so I got really far away. I thought that would help, but no, they weren't fans. I'm sorry. I'm not going to film the, the water slide that much. It'll be like five minutes a day max. I promise I'm not filming you even though you're in the shots. But yeah, I personally really like Mooseheart Falls, to be honest. I really like it. It's absolutely stunning. Um, and I'm really excited for it to open. I know it's opening really late, um, but when it opens, it's going to be really fun. I can tell it's going to be a really popular water slide at Canada's Wonderland. Anyways, that's all I have for a construction update today, guys. Um, stay tuned for tomorrow's. Have a good one, guys. Bye.